So you're asking about this quilt and what it's for. No, it's not Adair's wedding quilt. I think it's too fragile of a quilt to give it to somebody who's not a trained professional. What it's from is from my piece that I did for this year's Stanley Quilt Off for Ami Sims. I did a little one like this, hand quilted out of Dupiani silk. And you can vote for me, vote for me by going to Ami's site and casting a dollar. Um, oh, this is shameless, I know. I am on the Feed Dogs team and we wanna win. So it's a beautiful little piece. It's 16 by 16 inches. And of course, you know that all the proceeds are going to go to Ami's incredible, incredible fundraiser that she's doing in memory of her mom. As John came in with the camera, you saw me marking with this. And um, the reason I'm using this, this wash away pen on this, is because on the Ami Sims one, I used a silver Verithin, which I said I always use, and it didn't come off, and I was starting to get panicked. It's like the silk ate it up. So this, I'm marking as I go, and then I quilt, and when I'm done quilting for the day, I, mar I wash it with water with a paintbrush, literally just paintbrush it off with water, and then when I'm done quilting, I cover the whole thing with a piece of fabric because we all know that if this has heat or sunlight on it, it could permanently set. It's also a little funky to hand quilt through, but it was the only option I could come up with. So, on here, I'm going to talk a little bit about these feathers. I believe an equal amount of quilting over the surface. So this area here is very tightly quilted. I went in the ditch and then I did two on one side and one on the other. So as I did these big fat feathers, I thought, man, that's really big and clunky. So then I added in an extra feather. So that's what I'm doing over here. I am going to bury the knot and I'm wondering, John, can you see if I start stitching like this or do I need to get you over my shoulder? This thimble is by Tommy Lane. Pretty nice, huh? It's called the Alexandra. Anyways, I put it on my middle my pointer finger and you could just as well put your thimble on your middle finger, but I learned this way. So, I, underneath, I'm pushing up with this finger and I'm basically going to come right down on here and pivot and then put my thumb down in front to make a little hill, just like that. I did face, now, now I'm going to go away from myself, so I'm going to put the thimble on my thumb and do the same thing. Whoops! I'm kind of trying to keep my body out of the way so John can get the video um, and go away from myself. I love quilting with my thumb. I uh, faced it. I didn't do this with the Ami Sims one, but I faced this fabric with Jenny Haskins lining. It's very, it's an interface that's very, very light weave and um, it's very easy to hand quilt through. Got that little knot there. I'm going to go in between the layers, come over here, pop up, change thimbles. I'm eyeballing it. I'm pretending that I'm Joe Cunningham who eyeballs everything. In the olden days I used to have to mark everything. I'm trying to break that mold. I think that is coming because of my machine quilting. Oh, I love quilting by hand. Okay. You can see if I were on a hoop how I'd be chasing all over town for the thimble. And that's why people then turn the hoop around so they just are using one thimble. But that takes time, which is another reason I like working on a frame. Okay, I'm going through a bunch of seam allowances right here, being kind of bratty. So I just take a couple little stitches. Oh, oh, I'm really excited about what I'm going to show you next. Okay. Normally I go and I stitch all the spine first. But I want to show you this trick, it's really cool. I want to come up over here, so I'm going to go in between the layers, come up. I'm going to pull out the needle, but not all the way. I'm going to swing it around. 
and I'm going to pop it up oh, right where I want to start. Is that cool or what? You may want to replay that. That's how I travel in between the layers. Don't forget to use your thumb in front to push down. So again, if you want to win my small version of this quilt, we'll provide the link here. Vote for me.